Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we go to Martinsville in just a cup series, so it's a little bit more of a short episode for this one here in Martinsville. Hopefully we can have a strong run. We finished first here last season in this specific race and we finished second here in the playoff race last time we came here. So we were certainly looking for a strong run as we came through qualifying out of turn four, hitting down the front straight away. It wasn't going to be the best lap right. as it's a 19.461 and we'll get ready to start from P13 in here in Martinsville. So hopefully we can work our way forwards and have a chance at victory. We're coming to you live from Martinsville Speedway in Ridgeway, Virginia for the running of the STP 500. Known as the paper clip due to its unique shape, this historic track is the shortest in NASCAR at just over a half mile in length. Opened in 1947, Martinsville is also the only track to be on the NASCAR circuit since the very beginning. This historic venue is overflowing with NASCAR tradition and memories. Today, it's also overflowing with fans excited to see our first short track event of the year. So grab a chair and settle in. NASCAR racing is coming up next. All right, we're ready to go green here for the STP 500 at Martinsville Speedway. Ryan Priest is well prepared for this race. His team's training is really paying off as uh, Joey Gates failed technical inspection. So he's starting in the back. Those are your two notes coming in to this race here in Martinsville. Let's get ready to go green from the 13th right, starting position green. behind Kyle right. Busch now as Truex leads away as the green flag is out. And we are underway here in Martinsville alongside none other than the 42 of Kyle Larson as we go down into turn turns one and turns two certainly going to push up a little wide there's our teammate Bowman already forcing it three wide through turns one and turns two as we head down the back straightaways I, I just went a little bit wide and Bowman took full advantages and now Suarez hits me in the left rear and he takes me three wide for a moment there as I didn't really have a chance to get payback on Kyle Larson being directly beside him but as we came through and it turns one out send it up the inside of Alex Bowman with a pretty late move there letting him know I wasn't a big fan of what he pulled on us on turn one in the first lap now as we head down into turn three and turn four we would get to the outside of 13 of Ty Dillon as we came out of the corner sideways there but we would be able to get ahead of him and now as we came to lap four Logano had been stuck on the outside beside his teammate of Ryan Blaney so we would get down to the inside and follow Blaney through as we came to the inside now of the 22 of Logano getting in, in the back of Blaney but we would get past the 22 of Joey Logano now as we came to lap 10 of stage one coming through turns one and turns two still sitting at this point in the 11th position now now as we have a chance to pass Blaney and we're going to stick our nose up the inside and as we go through turn three and turns four we now enter the top ten so certainly showing a lot more speed in the race versus what we did in qualifying and we will continue running down the cars up ahead as we had run down ninth place of Eric Amarola and all the other cars because we had started dealing with lap traffic so we were into this big cluster of cars now at this point which is a big advantage to myself because I would hop up to the top like you see here and start clicking off the positions now moving up to eighth as we look to the outside of Elliott and Kyle Busch now moving up into P7 trying to move up even further into that sixth position and we would just continue to work our way forwards here on the top as we came to two to go on the stage now getting past Kyle Busch looking to the outside of his teammate Kurt Busch or sorry his brother Kurt Busch not his teammate now as we come out of turn two heading down the back straightaway at this point approaching the final lap in the first stage we're likely not going to be the stage winner but as we come through turn three we look to the outside now of Kevin Harvick as we come out of turn four crossing the line the white flag for stage one is in the air as we also go up the outside of Clint Boyers. We're certainly, like I said, showing speed, but the only problem right now is the car is pretty loose on the exit of the corner, but as we head down the back straightaway for the final time, side by side with the 14 of Boyer as we go into turn three and turns four side by side, even with Denny Hamlin as we exit the corner, Martin Truex Jr. will come through to win the first stage as we get P3 after starting down in P13. So a great first stage effort for us here in Martinsville, and that will set us up well for this second stage as we would not need to pit, so we'll get ready to start P3 for stage two. Certainly showing some speed early on here in Martinsville. Hopefully we can keep it up for the rest of this race as we get ready to start stage two behind Truex and Hamlin who lead the front row. Stage two is now underway as we head down towards turns one. Boyer on my outside is going to get in behind me as we overshoot turns one a little bit. Boyer taking full advantage and he's going to get up my inside three wide just like we were on the initial start through turns one as we do clear Hamlin but go side by side with Boyer as we go down into turns three. 
Not the stage two start I had in mind now as we battle side by side with the 14 car down the front straightaway as we go down in turns one and turns two. Boyer has the advantage over me, obviously being on the bottom, and he gets clear of me as we exit turn two, heading down the back straightaway now, going back to his inside, though, crossing him over as we go into turn three and turns four, taking back the second position that we had just got stolen from us, so we would work our way back up to P2. And as we came now to lap four, Harvick, he was up behind me in third, and he would send it up ambitiously up to my inside there. It was certainly a little bit of a late move, but he would take over P3 from me at the moment, and we would have to settle back in here in that third position, but try to stick with these two guys in front of me, and we would do that now as we came to lap 17 of 30 here in this second stage. We're slowly rolling in on the lap traffic. There's Denny Hamlin currently sits behind me in that fourth position as we come down into turn three, and turns four. Harvick all over the back bumper at this point of a Martin Triggs Jr. As you see just how loose I am on the exit of the corner, and as we came to this 12 to go in this second stage Truex currently stuck behind the lap traffic and I jump up to the top looking to the outside of the four of Harvick knowing that we can easily take the lead here in Martinsville as we go down into turn three looking to the outside now of Truex who's trying to make it three wide there as we exit turn four I'm going to stay on his outside though as we go down the front straightaway three wide at the moment as we cross the line Truex he backs out of it now it's Harvick and myself side by side as we go through turns one and turns two trying to get the best exit possible as we go side by side down the back straightaway as we go into turn three though we have the advantage over Harvick and we will be able to clear Kevin Harvick and come out of turn four as the leader here in Martinsville and we would just drive away at this point as the AI got stuck in behind the lap cars so as we came towards really the final few laps of this stage now approaching two to go we were just continuing to click off more and more lap cars out of the way as we look to the outside of Parker Kligerman approaching the final lap I decided you know what let's be a little bit nicer to Parker Kligerman as we go down into turns one and turns two I figured we'd just give uh, Parker a break and let him stay on the lead lap now as we head down the back straightaway just kind of tucking in behind him as we go down into turn three and turn four for the final time here in the second stage in Martinsville we're going to come out of turn four to come through to win the say, uh, second stage in Martinsville which is also our second stage victory of the season so starting to build some momentum here early in the season and hopefully we can finish it off here with a victory today in Martinsville for the second time in our careers we would come to pit road for two cans of fuel and four tires and we would repair the car which would actually lose us one position so we would get ready to start stage three from p2 Kevin Harvick will lead the way now as the green flag is back out. We are going once again for the final stage. Not a good restart from myself as we head down towards turns one and turns two. Truex sends it up my inside. Harvick obviously clear and away he goes as we get very sideways on the exit of the corner making a big save as we head down towards turns three behind Martin Trix Jr. in the 19. And as we come through the center of the corner, McMurray's on my left side as we get loose once again and make a big save there as we come down the front straightaway, but giving up another position to Jamie McMurray as we drift down to P4. Now Boyer, he gets up my inside as we exit turn two, heading down the back straightaway. An absolutely horrible restart for us as we head down into turn three and turns four on the outside of the 14. Oh, Clint Boyer, Kevin Harvick trying to run away right now as we're early on still in this third stage, so there's still plenty of time to work our way back to the front now as there's 56 laps to go at this point is Kozlowski. He also looks my inside, but we are able to hold him off there as we went down the back straight away. And as we came to lap 76 now, we had a chance to look to the inside of Clem Boyer as we hit 49 to go. We're going to stick our nose up his inside and try to take over the fourth position as we come through turns one and turns two. And we started really building up some speed as this stage was going on. We would get clear of Clem Boyer for fourth, and then we would run down the number 40 of Jamie McMurray as we were slowly closing in on lap traffic as well as we came to just 40 to go we would send it up very ambitiously of the inside of Jamie McMurray as though certainly a bold late move on my part but we made it work and took over P3 and we would run down the 78 or the 19 sorry of a Martin Truex Jr. now is Kevin Harvick Truex myself and all these guys this really had really started running into live traffic and that's going to help me out as we look to the inside now of the 19 of Truex as we go down into turn three making contact there with the 38 for just a moment but we take over P2 now as we would set our sights on Kevin Harvick we would get to his inside or his outside sorry as we came to lap 88 and we would take the lead from Kevin Harvick here in Martinsville and now we try to just hold on to this lead and hope that we don't get a caution with 37 to go as we are in command finally in Martinsville as we came to lap 95 just running away at this point as they were stuck in traffic behind me so I was just cruising around as we come out of turn for the caution would come out and this would set us up for a less than 30 lap to go restart here in Martinsville.
This obviously is a big restart for us. It could be the last one of the race. We need to come out on top now as the green flag is out. We are once again underway here with 27 laps to go. And Martinsville is going to turn one side by side with the four of Kevin Harvick, who wants to get the win here in Martinsville as we head down the bike straight away. Still side by side with the four cars. We go down into turn three and turn four. Harvick not going to back down as we come through turn three, though we do clear the four of Kevin Harvick. And now we are in command as we cross the striped lap 100 of lap. 125 as we go through turns one and turns two and on now it's all about hitting my marks and make sure making sure I just don't leave the bottom or something open and allowing the guy in second to come through and stick his nose up the inside as Harvick he would be just pretty much in a battle with Martin Truex Jr. as Truex was really eager to get po uh, past him and as we came through now with 14 to go Harvick he would still be running right behind me as we come through turns one and turns two but at this point now we're starting to close in on a lap traffic which is a big opportunity for myself if I'm feeling kind of risky wanting to move up to the top and make it work now as we head out of turn four going down the front straightaway. And as we came to lap 115, 11 to go, there would be problems up ahead with Kyle Busch, our former teammate smoking as we go down the back straightaway. We would get past him with no problem, and the green flag, thankfully, would stay out there as we just about get into the back of Ryan Truex there as we do give him the bumper. As Truex, Ryan, or Martin Truex Jr., he would take over second from Kevin Harvick now as we hit 10 to go as we go through turns one and turns two, sticking it up the inside of Ryan Truex. And as we came through now with just three laps to go, or approaching three to go in this race, it's Truex still on my back bumpers were getting into the back of Brendan Gunn at this point. I wasn't really feeling risky enough to jump up to the top just because you never know what's going to happen. So I was just playing it safe, running the bottom. And now it's just about hoping that Martin Truex Jr. doesn't lay the bumper now as we go down into turn three, approaching two laps to go. Because if the AI get close enough to you uh, at Martinsville, they will get into the back of you. I don't even think it's intentional, but it's just an AI thing. So we cer certainly have to be aware of that as we cross the line. Two laps remain. Truex right on my back bumper now as we come out of turn two, heading down the back straightaway, approaching the Final lap here in Martinsville, looking for win number one on the season as we come through turn three and turn four. Truex is close, a couple car lengths behind as we cross the line. The white flag is out here in Martinsville, just behind Truex. It looks like Jamie McMurray wants to take over that second position as we come out of turn two, heading down the back straightaway for the final time. Ross Chastain, the watermelon boy, just in front of me. Truex, he's there, but he's not going to get to my bumper as we come through turn three and turn four. We're going to exit the corner to come through to get win number one on the season. A great race for us overall. We had to hold off Martin Truex Jr. to get the victory. I was playing really defensive at the end of that race just to make sure I could hold on because I didn't know if Truex was going to give me the bumper if he was maybe going to get to my inside. So thankfully though, we hold off Truex and get the victory there as certainly win number two now at Martinsville. We certainly have a lot of momentum continuing into the next episodes of Texas. Hopefully, I believe Texas is the next race there as I certainly spent a lengthy amount of time doing the burnout here in Martinsville. This is one of my favorite tracks on the schedule, so I love winning here, obviously. My favorite track overall is probably Homestead, Miami. Martinsville second, and then the Charlotte Roval probably sits third. So we got an intermediate track, we got a short track, and then we got a road course as my uh, top three tracks on the schedule as I'll keep burning it down as we came through. I was trying to pull a bit of a Denny Hamlin, like 2016, I think it was, or 15 esque uh, burn out there as we come through into turns four though we would spin it out and end it there as that was certainly a fun burnout to do i was expecting to blow the engine much sooner that's what i was trying to do but there you see we get obviously a stage win and the race victory jimmy johnson finished 11th one of his better finishes on the season unfortunately for him but uh, ty dillon down in 40th there so we get what six playoff points in this episode we got a playoff point last episode so we're up to seven playoff points now and we might even be leading the points and there you see it. yes we are we're now up into the points lead five points right now above Kozlowski and I don't think we've ever led the points in our career here in the cup series so certainly uh, a cool little um, thing to have for us is we might have a chance to fight for a regular season championship here in NASCAR Heat 3, which we've never done before. We've had a chance to beat Kyle Busch a couple seasons back for it, and then it was Indianapolis, and we all know how I run at Indianapolis. Hopefully this season we can change that around there as well. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be very, very appreciated. Some drivers not so happy with me after this race, but thank you all for taking the time out of your day, first of all, to watch this video close 
closing in on 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all of your guys' support for being here and supporting me for months and months now. Almost, a, I think, seven, maybe eight or nine months we've been doing NASCAR Heat 3. So, like I said, I'd like to thank you all for the continued support. In the next episode, we will be going to Texas for both Xfinity and and the Cup Series there. As you see, your playoff grid, Reed Sorensen currently still in the playoffs. Boy, the last car in Johnson, our teammate, 48 out in his final season in the NASCAR Heat 3 career mode now as Reed Sorensen's currently 30th in the points. If he drops one more position, he will be out of the playoffs. So we'll see how that goes. So thank you for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a great day.